Hi guys, uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Ratan. Welcome to the 3D channel. So after a long gap, uh, just we started the videos. So there is no uh, gap in between guys. Every day we'll upload the videos in YouTube. Good. So in this uh, video, we'll go for the Java methods concept. So definitely Java is which, what type of language? Uh, object oriented programming language, right? So everyone knows that Java is object oriented programming language. In that case, object oriented programming languages, any languages guys, these are deals with the classes. If you take the Python, deals with the classes, .NET uh, deals with the classes, Java deals with the classes. Every object oriented programming language deals with the classes guys. Do you agree or not? Yes, right? Yeah, so Java is object oriented guys, which deals with the classes. Basically, if you take the class, so define the class using class keyword, class, class name is something like test class. So good, sure. Java is everything is object oriented guys, deals with the classes. Okay, declare the class using class keyword, class, class name is called test class, right? Exactly. Inside the class, we can declare some elements. Generally, what are the elements you can declare inside the class? Tell me. We can declare, hmm, we can declare what? Variables and we declare methods. Guys, okay, so we can declare the variables on what? Methods and we will declare the constructors. We will declare what? Uh, constructors and we declare the blocks, guys. In place of blocks, we have the instance blocks and the, hmm, instance on what? Static blocks, right? Good. Guys, in front of the video, don't sit ideal. Uh, just take the pen and paper. Try to note down all the points. The first point, what we decided? Java is object oriented programming language. Deals with what? Classes. The class contains, deals with the classes. The class contains what? Variables, methods, constructors, and blocks, right? Exactly. In the last video, we discussed the variables. There are three types of variables, local variables, instance variables, static variables, okay, three types of variables, guys. In this video, we will focus on the methods. We will focus on what? Methods, right? It's a very, very important thing, guys. Inside the class, the methods are very hot of the class, guys. Methods are what? Hot of the class, right? Exactly. So why the purpose of methods means? What is the purpose of methods, sir? See, guys, object oriented programming language, I declare the class, class name is called test class. Some class name is called test class. Inside the class, I declare some two variables like that. So int a equal 10, comma b equal to 20. I declare two variables. I want to perform addition of two numbers. Then tell me guys, how to perform addition of two numbers? The system.out.println. I'm writing short form SOP guys. Uh, you know like system.out.println, right? Exactly. The system.out.println of, simply I can write a plus b. Tell me guys, system.out.println of println a plus b, then this is called logic, right? Do you think like inside the class directly logics are allowed or not allowed? Guys, try to respond. Try to involve in the video guys. Uh, try to respond please, okay? Uh, session dot out that print line inside the class do you think you can write the logics directly so definitely we are unable to write the logics directly guys good then what we have to do inside the class we are unable to write the logics directly that's the reason guys inside the class define the methods okay inside the class directly business logics are writing allowed or not allowed not allowed so inside the class define the method inside the method write the logics oh my god so now guys can i remove this line here so inside the class directly business logic allowed or not allowed not allowed then what we have to do inside the class define the method can i declare void add method inside the method can you write the logics right the system dot out dot printer enough can i write the a plus b right exactly guys now you got the clarity right the second point what is the second point guys? Inside the class, can we write the logic directly? No. Then what we have to do? Inside the class, define the method. Inside the method, you can write the logics of the application, right? Yes, yes or no? Hmm? That is the second point guys. First point is what? Java is object oriented, deals with the classes. The class contains four elements. Variables, methods, constructors and blocks. We are discussing variable methods. The first point. Second point is what? Then what is the purpose of the methods? Then tell me guys, what is the purpose of the methods? To write the logics of the application, right? Theory notes, you can write the theory notes guys. And uh, if you need the complete PDF document, you can send the request to my mail ID. So, ratnratna5256 at gmail.com. 
otherwise you can send the request to so ratan it ratan it help ratan it help at gmail dot com see you write the running notes parallelly if you need the pdf document you just you can go through this uh, any one of the mail send the test mail then i'll send the pdf document to your mail id guys are you clear now good so then what is the purpose of methods guys the purpose of the methods is what to write the uh, to write the logics of the application right exactly the second point guys if you go for third point the first point second point if you go for third point so basically inside the class we can define the two types of methods in java guys is my class is fast or everything is going good thing is going good right good so inside the class we are like there are two types of methods guys so one is the instance method the second one is what static method guys yeah, so many types of methods there are two types one is the instance method one is the static method are you clear right so inside the class there are two types of methods one is the instance method one is what static method guys good let me define that so if you declare the class class name is called test so inside the class guys once you define void add sir what is this void what is this uh, parenthesis i will tell you definitely but just listen uh, listen slowly you will get the points guys slowly you will get the points inside the class i declared void add just open brace close the brace we can put some logics here okay some logics right and this method is called by default then this method is called by default which method guys instance method okay this method is by default what instance method right exactly and if you take another method you can i take the void you can take the multiplication method multiplication method just open this closer brace and this method is also by default which method guys instance method only <coughs> guys this method is also by default what instance method right exactly but in front of this method if you declare the modifier what the modifier you know static modifier in front of the method if you declare the modifier like static modifier then this method will become which method guys static method guys what is the, the point is clear then how many types of methods guys there are two types of methods one is the instance method the second one is what static method guys are you clear so instance method means void add by default you can write logic where you can find the static modifier guys that is called which method here static modifier here you can put the logics right exactly guys guys i am not writing the theory much theory like uh, instance method hmm, static method mod static modifier there are two types of methods in java you try to write the running notes parallelly right exactly guys so finally we decided the class contains how many methods guys total here two types of methods one is the instance method the second one is what static method right exactly you may ask one question here sir you said this is instance method this is static method both methods are to write the logics only then what is the difference as i know guys yeah immediately you are asking the question right sir both are to write the logics only then what is the difference see guys difference we'll discuss as part of polymorphism because in polymorphism we have the concept like overriding maybe most of you guys knows like overriding right we have the concept like overriding if you take instance method instance method in future you can override guys that overriding what is overriding i'll discuss later but as of now both methods are to write the logics okay both methods are to write the logics but instance method static method the main difference is instance methods in future we can override in child classes static methods means overriding is not possible guys that point is clear in instance method means overriding is what possible static method means overriding is what not possible right good but initial level think like both methods are to write the logics of the application right exactly guys guys three points are clear hmm i am repeating one more time uh, repeat uh, parallelly guys uh, first point is what java is object oriented programming language deals with what classes the class contains so many elements guys variables methods constructor and blocks then what we are discussing we are discussing methods previous video we discussed with the variables right yeah then what is the purpose of the methods inside the class can we write the logics directly definitely no then what we will do inside the class define the method inside the method we can write the logics of the application right so methods are used to write the hmm, methods are used to write the 
logics of the application right exactly then how many types of methods guys there are two types of methods what are the two types here one is the instance method the second one is what static method right exactly as of now both methods are to write the logics of the application but uh, the main difference is what instance methods in future we can override static methods means hmm static methods means what overriding is possible not possible guys overriding is what not possible right exactly good and the next point is the fourth point guys data accessing sir you said everything is fine then i declared instance method then how can we call the instance method then how can we call the static method guys generally we can call the instance method instance method is linked with object basically always instance variables instance methods instance blocks instance data is always linked with object as i know guys instance data is always linked with what object that's what access the instance data using object guys guys how can we access the instance data instance methods we can access hmm access access using tell me guys access using what object right object name basically access using object name guys because instance is linked with object so we have to access using object name what about static method here we can access a static method access using access using class name guys access using what class name right exactly so because always you know static variables static methods and static blocks so we can access a static methods we can use access using class name right exactly guys guys my handwriting is okay right don't feel bad guys just you try to when i when, when i'm giving the explanation you try to add these points guys are clear the fourth point is clear what the fourth point guys access the instance methods using object name access a static method using what class name right guys see sir you giving only explanation whatever the practicals see guys you know my slogan always believe the practical knowledge but not theoretical so just uh, see guys everything i have explained in the system so you are asking where is ratan sir that's what just i am explaining the basic theory point in the board then immediately i'll start the practicals regarding methods almost we'll discuss 20 examples with assignments hmm? with examples almost we'll discuss how many examples guys 20 examples guys are you clear now first you get get the clear theory right hmm? then you will start the practicals in the laptop guys it's fine guys you got the clarity right then how many types of methods guys there are two types of methods instance and static method instance methods means we can access using object name static means how can we access guys access using class name guys are you clear now hmm see guys in front of the video no one is there just a cameraman is there srikant and myself is ratan sir here huh? uh, i'm th i'm feeling like you are in front of me that's what i'm uh, you are i'm thinking like i'm feeling like you are in front of me in the same way while listening the class you also think like okay i'm listening i'm i'm learning something then you try to involve in the class okay guys as well no guys see guys you are spending some time on in front of video definitely think like you have to get some knowledge not only in the class video guys in the classroom anywhere self analysis is very very important when you are spending some time then think like you have to get some knowledge without getting knowledge what is the need of spending the time here tell me so you you spend maybe 15 minutes here so 15 minutes right almost 15 minutes you got the clarity about java is object oriented deals with the classes class contains these elements we discussing methods methods inside the class we cannot write the logics directly uh that's what it declares the methods inside the method we can write the logics and we decided there are two types of method instance method static method void add means instance method if static modified where you can find the static modified that is called static method we have the public static void main right then main method is which method guys guys please respond main is which method main is instance static definitely static right because public static void main where you can find the static modified then that is called static method then tell me guys how can we call the instance method you can call the instance method using object and we can call the static method using class name right guys are you clear now good and one more point guys last point while taking the methods while taking the method uh, we have to follow some coding conventions right definitely so we have to follow some coding conventions so what are the methods coding conventions 
the methods will follow the mixed case convention guys method name starts with lower case what's the point guys method name starts with what lower case method name starts with lower case and every inner word starts with upper case every inner word starts with upper case see guys while writing the code itself you try to habituate with the coding conventions also right that's a good practice most of the students will write the code without coding conventions yes or no guys without coding conventions right exactly see guys coming to the coding conventions if you take the void void caret method caret method means what char c small guys c is what small caret method at a capital right caret method like this like this you all write the code is it clear now so caret method means what so caret like this so for example you want to get the employee data void get employee get employee means what you guys will write get emp everything is lower case right yes or no guys everything will write the lower case that's what what i'm saying while writing the code we have to follow some convention here get emp like this you have to put the code guys get emp method name starts with lower case yes or no guys method name starts with what lower case and employee e is capital right Guys, are you, there is no space, guys. Don't give the space here. Get employee means get the space uh, E M P E capital. Don't give the space here. Get employee means what? Just you can write a single word, like a single sentence, guys. Get E M P. So E can make the capital letter, right? Yeah. Method name starts with lower case, guys. Method name starts with lower case, and every inner word starts with what? Upper case, right? Guys, are you clear now? Yeah. Before starting the practicals of methods, guys. this is the uh, theory explanation for the methods i hope everyone got the clarity right you want me repeat again maybe some guys are thinking sir you already explained multiple times <laughs> you want me explain again okay okay for my satisfaction last me explain okay the first point guys java is object oriented deals with the classes any object oriented programming language deals with the class only the class contains variables methods constructor blocks class concept is very very important guys hmm and we are discussing methods what is the purpose of methods inside the class we cannot write the logics directly that's what inside the class declare the method inside the method you can write the logics okay that's the second point third point is what there are two types of methods in java one is a instance method the second one is a static method when you see this method by default it is a instance method when you find the static modifier this is called static method then what is the main difference i said Mm, what is the main 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 difference i said uh, overriding right <laughs> instance methods means we can override static methods means we cannot override that's the fourth point uh, next point is what accessing guys how can we access instance methods we can access instance method using object name huh? so we can access the static method using what class name right exactly second one is last point is what coding conventions what are the coding conventions guys so method name starts with lower case method name starts with what lower case and every inner word starts with what upper case right okay that is clear now yeah what is my slogan guys believes the practical knowledge but not theoretical so theoretical explain is all the points so we will do practically next all examples right is that clear now good so thank you guys thanks for watching uh, check the next video regarding our practicals of methods and uh, like the videos mm, comment the videos and subscribe to our channel to get the more updates right and uh, please refer your friends guys just share the links to your friends so that they'll get some good knowledge right thank you guys bye